All right, welcome to the first level of your algebra unit. And uh, in this video, we're going to be going over what is called one-step equations because they require one step to get to the solution. So to start off, let's do a quick recap of uh, what algebra is all about and the process involved in solving an equation. So the first thing you need to remember is when you're asked to solve an equation, what that means is to find the value or the, the number value of the variable in the equation, usually x, um, which will make that equation true. Okay, so for example, uh, if we had the equation x plus 2 equals 4, to solve this equation, we need to find out what the num numerical value of our variable is in order to make something plus 2 equal 4. So obviously that would just be 2 because we know 2 plus 2 equals 4. So that's what it means to solve an equation. Now, the next important thing to remember is when you are... Uh, trying to solve equ an equation, especially one that's a bit more complicated, uh, there's an important uh, process involved that involves isolating the variable. Um, isolating the variable. And to isolate something means to make it alone on one side of the equation and the, the two sides of an equation are separated by an equal sign. So you've got your left side here, and then this is your right side. <clears throat> uh, now to actually isolate a variable, the trick is to do the opposite of what's happening around it. For example, the opposite of adding is, oh, sorry, subtracting. The opposite of multiplying is dividing. And the opposite of positive is negative. So with all of that in mind, let's go ahead and try some example questions here. Uh, let's go up here. Oh, too far. Okay. Let's start off simple. Let's say we've got an equation x plus 10 equals 7. So here is our variable x. Uh, so we're going to isolate it by doing the opposite of what's happening around it. So right now, uh, 10 is being added to it. So the opposite of that would be to subtract 10. Uh, oh, and I forgot to mention the other important rule with algebra uh, is equality. We always do the same thing to both sides of the equation. So we've got our left side over here, and this would be our right side over here. So if we are subtracting 10 from the left side, we're going to do the same thing to the right side. Now this plus 10 and minus 10 cancel out, and you're left with x equals... Uh, 7 minus 10, which is negative 3. So that would be our solution for that equation. And then you can also quickly check your answer. If we replace x in the original equation with negative 3, you would get negative 3 plus 10. And if you figure that out, you, you see that you do get an answer of 7, so we know we calculated that right. Okay, next let's try one that involves some subtraction. All right. Whoa. Okay, um, how about x minus 6 equals negative 11? Okay, so our variable x has a minus 6 next to it, so the opposite of that would be to add 6. So I'm going to add 6 below here, 
And again, we need to keep it equal. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. So I'll add six over here. Okay, so these two are going to cancel out and we're left with x equals uh, negative 11 plus 6, which is negative 5. And it's also, again, a good idea to double check our answer. So let's just think if I replace x up here with uh, negative 5, I would get negative 5 minus 6. And we've got to check, does that get us an answer of negative 11? Yes, it does. So we know we've done it correctly. Okay, now let's try uh, a couple of questions that involve uh, multiplication. Okay, how about... Oh, well, before we get into multiplication, let's remember our two very important rules when working with integers. One is that when you are multiplying uh, two integers that have the same sign, meaning they're either both positive or both negative, uh, that means you're going to get an answer that is positive. Okay? And if the two numbers are uh, different, if they have different signs, that means you would get a negative answer. For example, if you multiplied a positive and a negative number together. Okay, um, and that's the same case with division, by the way. So let's try a couple examples. Um, how about 16 equals negative uh, 4x. All right, so this time we've got our variable on the right side of the equation, which is totally fine. Uh, so this is a negative 4 being multiplied by an x. So the opposite of multiplying is division. So I'm going to go ahead and divide this by negative 4 to get rid of that negative 4. And then I'll do the same thing to this side. Now these will cancel out and we'll be left with x equals 16 divided by negative 4. Now I know that 16 divided by 4 is 4 and since we're uh, dividing a positive by a negative, those are different signs, so our answer will be negative. So x would be negative 4 in this case. And again, we can double check. Um, if I replace x up here with a negative 4, our equation would be negative 4 times negative 4, which is indeed positive 16. So we know we've got the right answer. Let's go down here. Okay, how about, uh, let's do negative 7x equals negative 49. So I've got a negative 7 here being multiplied by x. Uh, the opposite, again, of multiplying is division, so I'm going to divide this by, let me change the color here, let's divide this by negative 7, so that cancels out, and then we'll do the same thing to this side. So we're left with x equals negative 49 divided by negative 7, which would get us positive 7 because they're both the same sign. All right, almost done. Let's try a division question here. Let's move up here. Okay. So let's say we've got x divided by 11 equals negative 9. And don't forget, just a friendly reminder, that uh, fraction is the same thing as division. So don't forget that. Okay, so this is saying something divided by 11 equals negative 9. So let's think, what's the opposite of dividing by 11? It would be to multiply by 11. So I'm going to times this by 11. Those cancel out. Do the same thing here. And we'd get x equals negative 9 times 11, which is negative 99. Um, and you know, I think that about covers it. Um, so when you're ready to challenge this level, go ahead and let me know. And uh, yeah, good luck. Thanks.